Do you have this problem where you have black smoke coming out of your tailpipe? Could be a boost problem. Let's dive into it. With fuel economy so important nowadays, more and more vehicles are offering turbos. And if your car is lagging, you can get a turbo at 1AAuto.com. This vehicle, for instance, has a very small engine, and if it didn't have a turbo, it'd be very hard getting on the highway and accelerating. But because it has a turbo, it's able to drive like a normal vehicle. You feel the horsepower, and you're able to get decent fuel mileage. You may not even know that you have a turbo. Most manufacturers don't even badge the vehicle as being a turbocharged vehicle. If you have a smaller engine, but it still feels like it's pretty powerful, chances are you have a turbo. If you look at the exhaust and see where it comes out of the engine, you might see something that looks like this. And even with the intake tube going right next to it, chances are you have a turbo. To put it quickly, how this works, the exhaust comes out, it's gonna go through this side of the turbo, it spins a little turbine, and that spins a fan on the other side, which actually pumps air into the engine. There's actual pressure. Normally your engine is just getting atmospheric pressure, when you have a turbo, it's actually putting pressure into the engine. That's where you get your advantage of your horsepower. So it's spinning here and pumping on this side, and there's a shaft in the middle. Over time, that shaft is gonna wear out. There is oil flow going to it, but if it's not lubricated properly or it gets hot, it's gonna wear out the bushings, and that causes the turbo to fail. If your vehicle has a turbo, it's important to do oil changes regularly. That can prolong the life of your turbo. Otherwise, you're gonna cause those parts to wear out quicker and turbo is gonna be a lot more expensive than just changing your oil. When the bearings do wear out, you can have oil leaking past the seals and getting into the exhaust or even into the intake. And that's gonna cause that bluish blackish smoke coming out of your tailpipe. Something you may notice if you're having turbo troubles is the lack of acceleration. While you're driving down the road cruising, it's fine, but when you go to accelerate, it's very lagging, it's holding back. It feels like someone's stepping on the brakes. You may also notice a check engine light with a turbo-related code. You can also have noise coming from a turbo, whether it's a grinding noise or a tapping or clanking type noise. The internals of the turbo have been compromised and it's gonna need to be replaced. To replace the turbo, there's a couple of tubes that go to the intake and out to a intercooler. You need to pop those off. And it's always gonna be attached to the exhaust somewhere. This one happens to be attached to the exhaust manifold, but if it's not the manifold, it's very close to it. Most vehicles have an oil feed that will lubricate the bushing or the bearing. And then some vehicles even have coolant running through the turbos to keep them cool. There you go. If you're having some boost problems, chances are you need a turbo. And you can get that at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.